because you can't reprimand the corgis. And they have their own room, and they each have their own little beds, and their sheets are changed daily. And for their little deposits, they're dealt with with discretion. So that um, oh. I think it's a, one of the footmen is assigned to there, and he always has to have a tissue. And I'm like, honey, you're gonna need more than tissue. I'm sure he's figured that out by now. But anyway, so um, I was going to go ahead. Let me see where we are. Let me see where we are. Oh, we've run over, so we'll have a part one, part two anyway. <laughs> I'll just keep my glasses on so I can actually see what's going on. So, at the end of last year, I had some beautiful, 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 could have passed for Christmas time, but really were just kind of winter time. You know, I did all my Christmas ones and um, my sets. And, um, but I fell in love with some of these that are kind of wintry, but not necessarily Christmassy. And I think... Gosh, it's between two that I want to use this week because it's very cold for Georgia right now. And um, the first one is called, this is from Clever Gal Crafts. Clever Gal Crafts. And the name of this is Woodland Noel. Okay, so you can see that. Look at this thing. This is so beautiful, y'all. I'm just in love with this. I, I absolutely adore it. And where is the opening? There it is. Um, I want to show it to you because it's between this and one other one. Um, the way that these ladies send you things in these pretty little paper bags, I think is so sweet and I love it. But look at the beautiful, um, now you see berries, that's not Christmas balls, berries, that's not Christmas trees, that's just fir trees with snow falling on them. Um, there's just some pine branches and a beautiful deer in the woods with some of the berries on and um, mm. a, a doily. Mm -hmm. Down here is a lace mm -hmm. doily. It's just, it's a weird mix, but it's a pretty mm -hmm. mix. Here's a beautiful shield. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. what, what's the shield for? I don't know. Almost wonder if there was a hunter involved that the head would be on the shield and that would be on the wall. I know that sounds terrible, but you know, I don't really get it. But it's beautiful. I absolutely love this. And this is kind of just a woodland. It says woodland Noel, but it's not just Noel. The colors are, um, you know, kind of like muted greens and reds. But there's a brightness to them. Like the, um, what in the world? These are, okay, I don't get this, but these are, um, the picture is uh, Apple Watches. Like meals, Apple Watches, and TVs. What in the world would Apple Watches be? Messages? Check your messages? I don't know. That's very interesting. And then, um, look at these muted colors. It's like, kind of a, like a muted blue, green, red, different shades. And, um, very interesting wording. Self-care. Watch list. Tidy up. Fitness. Etsy. Incoming. These aren't the usual ones I see, so I just really do like this in Clever Gal Crafts. And then look at these beautiful bottom washies. That is what sells me, is I've got to have the bottom of the page coordinate. And then all those extra washies to put in between, you know, behind, basically, these. Where are they? Did I already pass them? I did. These little, um, the little half boxes. You know, I always use those at the bottom. So having some washi behind them because they have rounded edges is good. And then look at these beautiful um, weekly banner tops. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. They're, again, like a little wooden shield. And they have like a, um, a little um, piece of fir branch with some berries, but they aren't Christmas balls. So, I mean, and then you've got these beautiful pieces that you can either put at the top of the page at the end or if you have three-hole punching that you're doing in a ring binder, you can put that in the middle of the page. You could run this on the, the left side in the margin. Um, you can use all of these. Um, I love the weekend one. That's just beautiful. So I'm loving that. And then look at all these pretty little, they're just trees covered in snow and a deer head and then a couple of other little things. Um, and it's just... It's wintry, but it's not necessarily Christmas. It could have been used for Christmas if you wanted to. But they made sure that if you didn't want to use this for Christmas, you still could use it. So, after Christmas, I'm really wanting, vacillating very hard on whether or not to do that one or this one. 
and I absolutely love this one. Now, this is from Magnolia Boulevard, and I love this so much. I guess I didn't pay attention that I bought it twice. I have two of these, so I'm going to save this for next year. I'm going to put it in my box over there, and, um, but look at this. This is beautiful, y'all, and that is so wintry. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm thinking I might use this one first. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it says, baby, it's cold outside, and it's got, you know, can winter candles and fire in the fireplaces and um, a little couch in front of a big picture window and a little, um, look at this little cabin covered in snow. It's just beautiful pictures, beautiful, vibrant color. Um, it could go for Christmas because it's baby, it's cold, you know, that song. But at the same time, it doesn't have to. Again, there's nothing truly Christmassy about it. There's some glitter, but they're not actual Christmas balls. It's just glitter. Yeah. Um, so that's another one. And then again, these are kind of Christmassy colors. It's the green, red, gold, silver, silver and gold, red and green, you know, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be for the wintry time of year. And then, um, hold on. Um, these, you know, I mean, these can pass for any time of year, but let's admit we see green and red and a little bit of gold and silver. And again, we think of Christmas. But it doesn't have to be. And then I, lo I love that Magnolia Boulevard. She's one of my absolute favorites. Absolute top favorite. Um, she always gives you these little um, tick lists for checking off water. She makes sure you have plenty for meal and for TV, which I use for you know writing down what I'm going to do for YouTube because I upload almost daily, if not daily. Um, then she's got these other little ones on the end that you can use for just... I use that for marking how many hours of sleep I get per night. And what, and just, it's just, I'll put a number there. And then the other one I use for whether or not I work out, just yes or no. Um, I love this bottom washi. Now let me show you how this goes together. I always like to get the full boxes and the bottom washi together so you can see how it coordinates on a page. And that is so pretty. Look at the bottom washi. Just tree branches in the woods, pine branches really, it looks like. And a little bit of snow on them. And then of course the, the filler washi, which I love having for my um, half boxes, and there they are, and then look at how fun the little, um, it's a cardinal, it's cocoa, it's candles, it's cabogans, it's to go to buy a little fire in the, you know, woods, I guess, cause, or fireplace, however you want to look at that. Cute little things to, that are extras to use, and then, of course, you have your weekend banner, which is gorgeous, the um, day of the week um, headers, and then these two are sidebar, Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of things. Love that. All these little things, you know, for chores and remember and all that kind of stuff. And then they, she always gives an extra page of more washing that's in glitter, which I love glitter, so yes, thank you. And look how it coordinates. It's the same colors. And then she has all these little extra places you can fill stuff in, or little additional checklists if you need them. And then there's day off things. She... Just, the bar is high if you are going up against Magnolia Boulevard. So what I would say about this one is, this is going to be a tough call on which one I want to use first. Which one looks more Christmassy, which one looks more wintry. Um, I'm thinking, because this also says, all is calm, all is bright, that's more Christmassy looking. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use this one this week. And I was so committed to this one before. I don't know. I love them both so much. Wee. All right. Then I've got one more. That, um, again, this says chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Obviously, it is a, um, song from the Christmas time. But again, this, this can be wintry without being Christmassy. It's kind of that buffalo check, which I did, and uh, I did a woodland tree in our sunroom this year, which has really turned into a family room. There's no big palm trees in there or wicker furniture. It's just a family room now. And we actually did, um, we did the um, palletized wall, and, and there's deer heads on it now. So I just, I feel like this went, because I did the buffalo check at the top of this little woodland tree with, um, you know, just using twine and to hang the ornaments and burlap for the garland, you know, burlap ribbon. So it was very, very woodland. All the ornaments were little animals and they were very nice little ones that I'd gotten at Wild Birds Unlimited and uh, Hobby Lobby. But this is just kind of that black 
and red check that could be sweaters it could be buffalo check ribbon it, and then you've got a deer it doesn't have to be a reindeer it, this looks like a sweater it's just so it's really really cute and um, this is by Kimmy's studio k-i-m-m-i -M -M -I, apostrophe s studio and I'll write uh, below what they all are and then of course um, it's just a little bit different style um, writing on the headers and the checklists are just really really cute and then of course the bottom washi and filler washi pull together the uh, boxes the full boxes so well but this doesn't have to be Christmas it doesn't really have to be Christmassy at all and then of course there's the half boxes um, I like that hers are more squared um, and then the week of the uh, day of the week headers and numbers and then there is some sidebar stuff to use you know the, the Monday and all these little pieces here and these little pieces the weekend banner and then she also gives an extra page of washi and that's that's important when like if you want to have filler in between stuff or even at the top when you're finished if you want to put this across the top of these like when you put these on above this you have that above that sometimes I like to do a little strip of glitter on top of that so it's just really she gave you a lot to work with this one really and truly could be any time in January so I am going to save this one it does not have to be this week uh, the other two it's really hard to say which one I would use this week and I'm thinking I don't know I want to use this one so bad like I really do want to but at the same time, this one still has a little bit of a Christmassy feel, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. So, watch for the next um, life planner and um, video, and we'll, you'll see which one I decided on. And I will link below these because they're all beautiful, and I know you, you would enjoy having them. And you can go to Etsy and get them. So, anyway, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you again in my next video. Where will do some please?